Hi everybody, this is Anna Cass from another Anna Cass Fitness and today is another day of full eating. It is currently June 18th, uh, it's Saturday and I came home early from work and I just kind of felt like I needed to do some change, a little bit more changes to my diet, especially when I try to go back within a week. Um, as of today, I pretty much uh, got a new pre-workout and I tried it yesterday and even though I could not work out at all, I took a little bit of it and I was cleaning my house at the speed of speed. <laughs> like I, you could have sure someone gave me some crackers. Man, I was flying through my house like all cray cray and it looked spotless. You could probably like lick that counter and it was awesome. So yes. Um, but for the most part, the new pre-workout's working out. I'll share with you guys what that is. And, um, and then I also went ahead and today I decided to do a little bit higher protein, a little lower carbs and a lot lower fats uh, because the last two days uh, because I've had some really extensive days I end up kind of changing as my day go through so I have a plan in the morning but sometimes by like the end of the day either I don't have enough energy or my body craves something else so I try to adapt that's why I tell people it's like this is this is my plan and then check out my fitness pal so you can see what I kind of ended up with and I know that doesn't seem it seems kind of weird, but most of the changes are not major changes. I'm pretty much eating the same food. I'm just changing it up a little bit because I don't feel like eating chicken. So I'll pretty much go ahead and I'll eat some shrimp or I'll eat some yogurt instead. So I'm still getting protein. I'm just getting a different type of protein instead. So it's one of the downfalls of pretty much doing prep eating, especially when you do it in a bulk. You pretty much get stuck eating the same thing over and over and over again. But you know what? The results are worth it. As of this morning, I'm a solid 163 and my weight fluctuates. And you guys are seeing I'm recording my weight as best as I can on a daily basis. So I'm pretty stoked about that. So let me show you what I got. I, I hit three major points, but I hit, I unfortunately missed one major point. And I'm probably going to continue to tweak my diet as the day goes through. Okay, so let's go ahead and start through this. All right, so pretty much just the same basics as usual. Sorry, that's from me cooking my salmon. Uh, my BCAAs, a prenatal. Uh, if you do, do not use prenatal, let's say you have low iron and you donate blood, I can get them ready to do this week. Um, this worked out for me a lot better than the regular multivitamin. I cannot do iron pills. They kind of make me sick, so do taking it in a multivitamin works out a lot better. And, I mean, you cannot beat that. I mean, look at that. Ballin'. Ballin, iron, 28 milligrams. You cannot beat that. All right. Fish oil. Well, fish oil, well, it's good for you. Uh, biotin is really good if you do drastic weight loss. Uh, but keep in mind, your hair will start falling off if you lose weight too quickly. It's something a lot of people don't talk about. And it's also good for your nails. Like, my nails grow. Like, I look like Wolverine if I don't cut my nails within two weeks. And then vitamin D, this is just for me. I tend to be naturally uh, vitamin D de uh, depleted. So I make sure I take about 5,000 UIs on top of what I get on my multivitamin and then what I also get on my freaking um, isopure protein powder. I also added fiber powder, uh, mainly because they got me um, muscle relaxers and painkillers for my injury. And it's nothing major, it's just repetitive motion injury. And it just, that's why I'm mean, kind of sitting still. So if anybody ever been in muscle relaxers and painkillers that will tell you that it will give you the worst constipation in the world. And I already went through it once and I already discussed it with my doctor and when he suggested that I add some fiber to my food. And then I also start eating grains. So that's what you see this right here. Normally I don't eat grains at all. And this is pretty much as, as far as I go. And I'll explain this here in a second. So my first meal of the day today, and this is my pre-workout. I don't like to work out in a full stomach. Um, and I don't know if I'm going to end up running or bouncing around or whatever. And even though today was a walk, it's just a habit for me not to eat before workout because if they have me running and I have a full stomach, I'm just going to throw up. And I, I, I hate that feeling. So this is my new pre-workout before I was doing the Optimum Nutrition uh, Amino Acids and I loved it. But I needed a change and my roommate always has this and I see a lot of, a lot of competitors use this so I just wanted to try it. And so far, I'm not disappointed. I tried the pink lemonade, and after not having any pre-workout for almost like two weeks, this was like a caffeine bomb in my, in my system, including this morning. Um, each scoop of this is 150 milligrams of caffeine. 
So if you're trying to get a pretty good workout or you know you're going to be going for a long time, I would suggest this. I like the pink lemonade. It's my favorite. Everybody says blue ras is the way to go, but I never really been a raspberry kind of person. So if someone has a little bit of it, I'll try it, but I don't think I want to buy a full container of it. So, so far, I'm not disappointed. After that, I borrowed a little bit of my roommate's Isopure Aminos. This is for post-workout. It's a cherry lime. I'm not a big fan of cherry mixed with anything else or berries mixed with anything else. To me, it never really quite tastes the same. But um, just like the pre-workout, um, the pre-workout uh, container, one scoop calories is five. So look at all that good nutritional stuff on there. Look at those vitamins. And then for the aminos, which is really, this is really good for relaxing afterwards, uh, letting your body heal. And it's also good before bedtime as well. I took one today because, again, it's the first time I tried to work out, and I figured I should try just to kind of calm my body down. I'm getting ready to go drive to the mall. I don't want to take my muscle relaxer in an attempt to drive because that's technically driving under the influence. So I figured I would take this instead, and I'll take my muscle relaxer later tonight. So, yeah, so this was my 7 a.m. this morning. And then when I came back from my walk and after taking a shower, this is going to be my 9 a.m., and it's pretty much the same old, same old, one cup of Greek yogurt, half a cup of strawberries, a quarter of a cup of uh, blueberries, a tablespoon of chai seed, a tablespoon of uh, flax seed, and then some of my fiber powder. It's on top. It's kind of dissolved a little bit with half a cup of fiber one. So let me show you the macros for both my 7 a.m. and my 9 a.m. Actually, yeah, I'm just going to show you my 7 a.m. and then I'll complete my 9 and 11 a.m. All right, so my 7 a.m., my macros are 15, carbs are 3, no fats, no protein. Okay, so that's that right there. Now, this combined with my salad, and that's including around 4 tablespoons of the Skinny Girl Balsamic Vinegar. This is about 2 ounces of spinach, about 2 ounces of, um, what I got here, cherry tomatoes, both red and orange. I like to make my salads nice and colorful, and then I have some bell peppers in here. And the macros between this and this with that, it is a grand total of 385. The carbs are obviously going to be high because it's mainly complex carbohydrates of fruit and vegetables. Plus I have the fiber one on there, which has 25 grams of carbs. Fats are nine because of the yogurt and then protein is going to be 33 because of the Greek yogurt. All right. Now my 1 p.m. and my 3 p.m. are going to be exactly the same. It's around six ounces of salmon. And this is really simple. It's just salmon with a little bit of Mrs. Dash and cooked in coconut oil. I'm not really, like I said, I'm not really planning to eat too many veggies today. I'm just mainly going to try to focus on the protein today. So both my 1 p.m. and my 3 p.m. are 200 calories, carbs are zero, fats are five, and protein is 38 for each. Now my 5 p.m., I decided to switch it up a little bit today because you're about to see why. My calories turned out to be a lower than what I anticipated. So instead of doing PB Fit today, which I already opened the jar, <laughs> I tried some yogurt with PB Fit on it yesterday and some protein powder, and it was awesome. It still needs a little, little bit of tweaking, but I'm pretty sure I can make it a little better, but I love the stuff. I'm like addicted to PB Fit. All right. So today, instead of doing PB Fit, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to do a full chunky peanut butter protein shake so that way it's really thick so instead of doing just one scoop of vanilla ice pure one cup of almond breeze and then the ice the the pb fit today i'm going to do two scoops two cups and then two tablespoons of chunky peanut butter the macros for that at 5 p.m is 345 carbs are 10 fats are 20 and protein is 34 and then the supplements like i said supplements do have calories folks uh, supplements is 75 for calories, carbs are 4, fats are 2, and protein is 11, mainly because of the BCAAs on there. Now, here's where it gets kind of, I'm a little disappointed, and I know what it is. I know it's because I'm mainly eating fish, so the calorie, even though there's a lot of food, that is a lot of food I'm eating. You know, it's not like I'm starving myself. Um, the calorie is a little too low for my comfort. So it turned out, according to my fitness pal, it's only like barely 1,200 calories. And I try to aim between 16 and 18, so this is really low. So I might have to add something else protein-wise later today, not, not uh, carbs or fat, just something really low in order to increase that calorie intake. But for right now, this is my plan. My carbs, I got them almost spot on. It is 81. I missed it by one gram, but you know what? I'm going to check that as yes. 
and then my fat I got it spot on at 40 my protein is really really low 145 I was shooting for 200 but then check out my sodium my sodium pretty much is spot on so if you really think about it I hit four out of my five goals but once I try to tweak it or try to eat something else like I'm probably gonna try to eat some excuse me really 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 bland chicken and that should increase my protein and maybe a little bit of my fats but it shouldn't increase my carbs so that's just for later today um, the one thing I am trying to do at the moment and I know some of you guys go to your pantry and every so often I picked up something that's interesting so these are bare, bare simply toasted crunchy coconut chips and I am a coconut fanatic next to peanut butter I'm from the tropics we eat coconut anything so I don't really care what you think I love coconut I picked this up at the local gas station at my job and a reason why I like it is because it's, you know it was kind of paleo friendly unfortunately check out the macros on that half a cup of this is 150 calories 10 fats 16 carbohydrates and one protein so if I'm trying to keep my fats low and my carbs low this is technically not something that I want to eat so I'm trying to figure out how can I mix this into my food so I can finally finish this I've had this for a while and it expires on September 24 and I want to make sure that I eat this before they go back because they are freaking delicious but as you can see if you're doing high carb high fat it's perfect but if you're doing high protein mid carbs low fat it's not very good so but I mean I love these and I'm hoping to find a way that I can implement this into one of my meals but anyway guys um, this has been Anna Chaos for another Anna Chaos full day worth of eating I hope you guys been enjoying my videos um, like I said, these macros are for me. Uh, this is for me to be able to maintain my weight while I'm out of the gym. That's from doing high protein. I currently weigh 163 pounds, plus it keeps me in the habit. I am a creature of habit. If I stop doing something, I will probably fall off it. So that's why I've been at least trying to walk a little bit. I still get up close to my normal gym time at 4 a.m. I mean, getting up at 5.30, so I always still get used to getting up early in the morning. I'm also trying to, I'm been used to getting, going to bed, excuse me, I can't even talk. I'm still trying to go to bed early as possible. So at the latest 10 o'clock, so that way, you know, I try to get as many hours of sleep as possible. Um, but for the most part, these are for me. Uh, everybody's different, everybody's goals is different. Um, and this is just for me to maintain. This is me experimenting with my body. My body is different than somebody else's body. I'm not a doctor, nor a nutritionist, nor a professional. This is, I'm just, a lady who was really big who got fed up with not being able to move and I've been just researching 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 what's best for me and this is where I'm at for me so um, it's not as hard as people make it sound uh, if you take if you literally all you do is watch TV guess what you have Netflix on your phone just put Netflix on your cell phone with the Wi-Fi and watch your tape favorite show as you cook in your meal you know or as for me I do Netflix binging I literally just do a lot of my cooking and then during the weekend I go ahead and I cook a big old pot and while I'm cooking a big old pot I'm just binging on my favorite shows so that's pretty much the way that I tackle it you always have time it's just whether or not it's a priority and I get it people have jobs and they got kids and they got stuff and life gets in the way well my life got in the way and it almost killed me yeah I almost died because I wasn't taking care of my body I was too busy making time for everybody else but me there's only one of me I have one body this body shuts down I'm done and I've had my body shut down several times you know it's I can't keep doing that so I this to me is priority taking care of my body having a peanut butter addiction <laughs> and uh, but yeah to me it's totally worth it you know it's a worth it to you it's a worth it to your family to take care of yourself but anyway, guys, this has been Anna Cass. Sorry about my rant at the end there. Uh, do not forget to follow me on Facebook, Pinsters, Instagram, Tumblr. I'm also on MyFitnessPal, Fitbit, and Bodybuilder.com. Do not, do not forget to check out my GoFundMe. I am still taking donations towards my surgery. If you cannot donate, at least share my story. I am incredibly grateful. All right, talk to you guys later. Bye-bye.